What up, Freezy Army? You guys know that I share my apartment with two other guys. And just recently, one of those two moved in. Until then, his room was empty and I used to have all my 3D printing stuff in this room. So now that he moved into our place, now I need to start in my room. The printer makes quite some noise when printing. I'm thinking about building a enclosure for the printer, where I also have control over the light. Since I'm a poor lad, with not even 100 subscribers, smash subscribe, I'm gonna drive around a little bit and look for throwaway wood. Actually, there's one right there next to the car. This one is soaking wet. Nah. Next one. Ah. Indicating to the left. Works. To the right. Flipping fast. This one is highly motivated. And this one crashed. Let's repair this. Luckily with the old Mercedes, this is giga easy. Unlock these two screws. Yeah, I guess it's a little wet in there. But as we know, electricity and wetness is ideal. Whew. Holy flip. Aha. Flipping easy. Pretty sure this one ain't that nice either. No, no. I just found some trash, you guys. This one is friggin' new. What a glorious time to be alive. <laughs> now that we got these, let's check what kind of wood boards we got in the basement. This is my basement. This is my old East German motorbike. If I do my calculations carefully... Then this should be enough for a 3D printing slash aquarium enclosure. So my room is a real big mess right now. The plan is to get rid of this thing because this is quite unnecessary, holding nothing really but my survival head and uh, a golden bust of my head. We're gonna use some of the Euro pellets. Is it called Euro pellets? Gosh damn. And we're gonna use part of this. And it's freaking dirty. So the way we're gonna do it is the aquarium gets down there on the bottom and there's gonna be a stand around it and the 3D printer goes on top. Oi! Take two. And we're back. It's a couple days later. I spent the last couple days carefully planning the next move. So first, we gotta get rid of all of this stuff. Because the aquarium is going to go over there. Artikel 75 Der Landtag besteht aus dem vom Volke gewählten Abgeordneten. You got this? Scheiße, wo soll ich das hinmachen? Playstation 2 Controller. Flippin nasty. Aquarium, wood, 3D printer, floor. What we're gonna do now is drain the aquarium so we can lift it, bring it over here, put it on the floor, and then we're gonna build the enclosure around it.
I don't really want to go much lower than this because otherwise it's gonna be hella scary for the fishies. So this should be fine, but this one, the big boy over here, he's probably gonna get a claustrophobic attack if I go even lower. So let's see whether I can lift this. Ah, oh, shoot! That great player pushes his body past the limit. He leaves every single drop of blood on the field. Oh, fuck! I'll not try to net the big boy because it's gonna be much less of a horror trip for him. If we put him in this bucket... Wait, where is he? Huh? Ah, he's back there. We don't want to hurt him. Oh no, he's scared. Yep. No, 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 relax, 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 relax. Easy. So it was obviously a little bit stressful for him, but I think overall it's gonna be much more relaxing as if we were to move him inside the aquarium. Habibi! Haboobs! Bubu, bist du bereit? Aquarium darüber tragen? Kannst du? Nee, 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 nee. Okay. Mhm. Ich sag, ich sag der Freezy Army Bescheid. My roommate uses connections to get hold of some nice business chairs from work. So we're gonna leave it in such a mess for right now. We're gonna quickly jump into my car and get those chairs. So this worked without any crashes. Now we're gonna eat something. We're gonna eat finest Egyptian cuisine. I filled up the aquarium, but as you can see, it's still very cloudy. My boy is still chilling in his bucket. He seems to have a good time. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna start this bad boy. We're gonna get all of this dirt out of there. And then he's gonna be able to go back into his nice clean home. Yep. So I grab my Sunday morning coffee, the fish are pumped. And they're gonna be treated with their favorite food, which is white mosquito lava. Cheers! And now we're gonna use these bricks, which I borrowed from a construction site several years ago. And now we're gonna use these bricks as pillars on which then the 3D printed or the other 3D printing gear gets put on. Gosh dang it, look at this. Abort mission! I want you to abort the mission immediately. This 100% won't work. And if this whole thing crashes down on the entire aquarium, then the aquarium will explode. Mama! So we need to do this differently. And I already have an idea how. I'm gonna use good old wood as pillars. And I'm gonna support those with 3D printed sockets down there. So this was a little bit dumb. These poles I got are almost as long as my car. How exactly do I transport them back to my place? Oh, this is the most I can fit in there. And I should probably try not to get caught by German police like this. Just sawed a couple of pieces off and now it fits inside a, my beautiful little Mercedes. All right, let's head home. Actually, let's first head back to construction class. 
because your boy is eager to learn. What the flip? Here is one. Quickly. Shoot. My friend told me that's already started. It's gonna be a little bit awkward. First time this professor sees me. Let's go. First thing we gotta do is saw four 80 centimeter long pieces out of these poles. Finish him! Ah! Battery is empty. Well, now we wait a couple hours. One eternity later. And it's charged. Oh. Now this wood pillar is equally skewed as the other one. But as we all know, skewed and skewed equals out to straight. Rocky. Pound it in there. Oh man. Fuck. Fishes. Well, well, well. This looks freaking terrible. It's like. <laughs> Look how skewed these are. All of them. But then again, all of them being skewed equals out to 100% straight. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. I'm a man, a couple stacks, do we exactly? Ah, oh. oh, Scheiße. Ah, oh. I friggin' rammed this one inside my bag. That was pretty close to death. Now we're gonna reinforce the pillars. And we're gonna do this by sawing 45 degree angles at both ends of these pillars and to cut accurate 45 degree angles of those ends I printed this I actually uh, looked for one in the hardware store 16 euro for this hell no horrendously expensive first cut looks pretty nice and now we go into mass production So we're gonna try to straighten these whilst attaching those reinforcements. And obviously, we're gonna do this by instinct. Oh, this looks terrible! Next step, separate these wooden slats because we need the two long ones. Huh? It's not moving one bit. Oh man. I'm gonna deadlift these apart. Nope, ain't gonna happen. The goal is to place these wood boards on top so we have a nice sturdy work plate. I think key to make printing as silent as possible is to reduce the vibration that are passed from the printer into the ground and the surrounding. Thus, I want to add... Where is it? <laughs> Thus I will add some pieces of this styrofoam I don't know. Of this stuff, another wood box.
And that's the end of part one. I'm trying my first test sprint. Uh, Halloween mask. Smash subscribe. If you want to see part two, where we built the actual enclosure, I wish you a spooky Halloween, and I'll see you next time. Stacks, do exactly what I want to. Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to. Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone, dude. I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to. I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest. Some people say I'm lucky, others saying that I'm blessed. But I keep my head down, cause I crave progress.